and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm doing a Valentine's Day makeup look which I'm going to a Valentine's Day competition. I'm not competing but if you'd like to uh, see how I do this makeup then please keep watching. Also if you're wondering why I haven't been here for a month then I'm sorry I just kind of got lost in my life a little bit and I really missed you guys. Did you miss me? <laughs> All right. Can, if you want to see this, then keep watching. <sighs> I haven't filmed in a hot minute. It's real hot in here too. I'm going to start with some Continuous Setting Mist by Morphe. That is because I wanted some cool on my face. Now, I'm going to a Valentine's Day thing today for my poll group. I'm not performing, but I am going to watch. I'm going to sport my girls. So, I'm going to wear something pink. I'm not a pink person, as you can probably tell. Maybelline Master Conceal by Face Studio Camouflage Concealer. I've just put some of that on the back of my hand, and I'm just going to put that over my eye and like. Because I'm using the Jeffree Star Morphe palette, and I'm going to be taking this color here, which is Lynn. I've not used this before. I'm super excited to try it out. I think I've had this for like six months. I think I'm going to take say I think I'm going to take Self Made, which is the bright pink just here. Again, I'm going to a Valentine's Day thing and I just want to be pink. Wow. So I'm tapping most of the product on the outer corner and like buffing it into my crease. I wonder if that will stay in my eyes. So I'm just starting with a little bit of a product and then going back and dipping more and then starting again, so like building up the colour this way. And just with a fluffy brush with no colour on it, I'm just going to blend out the edges a bit. And just with pink fleck, I think it's the colour right underneath it. Yep. Or oh, pink fleet, sorry. I read that probably before I turned it around. I think it's more of a purpley color. I'm just going to do the same and put it on the outer corner and work my way in. Now with colors like this you kind of want to do your eye makeup before you do your face makeup because if you make a mistake you can just wipe it away whereas these colors are quite pigmented and you may regret doing your face makeup first. But this one's very similar or when I have one on my face, it's very blended a little bit underneath my eye where I've got this smaller blending brush. It is hot in here. Just this color up here, just this color up here. I'm gonna go in with a flat brush and some setting spray. And pat that on my lid. I'm just gonna go back in with that definer brush and just kind of blend that out so it's more seamlessly. Oh, I like that. I might see what Welcome looks like, which is this color in the corner, like this white, like frosty color. I might look what it, I might see what it looks like with just my finger because sometimes that actually makes a difference. Oh, oh, that's nice. I think I'm gonna go with this color here. It's called Mogul. Like muggle. I have no idea what that means. I don't know if I want to know what that means, but it's kind of the color I want right now. In the, I just kind of want to darken this outer corner up a bit without using black because I do that a lot. 
It's so pretty. Oh. Oh my god. Okay. How do you guys feel about me doing one eye at a time and then just kind of going through the next one? Don't care. Love it. Haven't filmed in ages. So weird. I haven't done makeup in so long that it's actually hurting my arm. How, how I have to hold bleh, how I have to hold my arm. Maybe I'm just bad at it now. I might come back to my face because like. Oh, I always like finishing. I might come back to my eyes, I mean, because I always like finishing my eyes last. I don't know why. Um, I'm going to be using this primer, which is a NYX Photo Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer. So I'm going to try this new foundation from Australis. I've got the two shades which is pearl and I've got this one here which is light neutral so I've got light neutral and pearl so light neutral seems to be a bit more of a peachy color light neutral seems to be a more of a peachy color and pearl seems to be a bit more of a yellowy color so I'm just like which one I don't know which one I'm gonna choose probably light neutral for now see what that is how that is on my skin do i have a sponge let's see what that looks like just putting it oh it's runny do you have to shake well apply with fingers brush or sponge start with the circular motions on the face it is very very liquidy don't know if you can hear that don't know if you want to hear that Ooh, light neutral seems to be, yeah, actually, what do I do? I don't know how much I need. Oh, probably overshooting this. I kind of want a sponge. But I don't think I have. <laughs> I'm just going to start tapping that into my skin. Hmm, it is... I think I've used too much, but it is quite full coverage. You know, it's been over a month since I filmed a video. Yeah, wow. Well. Alright. Huh? I know. This is why I like getting up in that bit because my foundation, when I do it uh, with a sponge, like I can't get into the inner corner without ruining my eye makeup. And I must have taken it off. I was doing my makeup, my eye makeup. So it's quite hot today. So this is actually, it's quite nice. I. I feel like I didn't need as much, like I feel like I put too much on, but see on camera it makes me look a bit pale, but in real life I think it suits really well. Yeah, see so it doesn't look too bad. Alright, to set that I'm going to go in with the new, well it's new to me. The Ready Set Go Finishing Powder, and I, this is in the shade Translucent, so like it's full up white. I'm gonna take this big brush, and this is like a fake 
um, Real Techniques brush. That should not be going anywhere now. I say that, I don't like. I'm probably going to sweat my ass off. Okay, and we're just going to take that colour. Um, self made, really close. I think what would look really nice if I did my brows. So I might do my brows. I'm going to be using this, and it's the designer brand Creamy, Creamy Pom. The designer brands or DV Brow Master Creamy Pomade Brow Pomade in the shade Chocolate, which looks like this. I'm just gonna take an angled brush. My favorite one is from Barry M. So you do my barrels, but that is in my makeup bag I take to work with me because sometimes I go too early. I go to the gym before I start work and I take my makeup bag so I can do my makeup but then sometimes I can't be bothered. To bring some warmth into my cheeks I'm going to be using Give Me Sun by MAC with this big fluffy brush. I'm just kind of go like where my contour should be, just to warm up my face. The, love, the thing I love about sponges, or well like you can just pretty much clean up your contour by just getting your, your sponge and doing that. Just with my Tarte, um, what is this called? Tarte Blush Bazaar um, Amazonian Clay Palette. I'm going to be taking my Angelic, which is this one here. I love this one because it's like a naturally looking blush. It's like my eyes are pretty much giving you the most drama right now, and I just kind of want I like a naturally peach blush because I think that looks really nice. That was too much. Shit. Oh, that's too much. If I can say this situation. Did I just ruin that? Did I just ruin that? Did I just ruin that? Oh, she's alright. She's alright. She's alright. Alright. I think for lips, I'm going to be using a Gemini by Jeffree Star, which it's like a nude colour, like a dark nude. I think for highlight I'm going to go with the Amazonian clay highlighter and I'm going to go with Worthy, which is this colour here. And on a fluffy brush like this, I'm going to start with like tops of my cheeks and going backwards. Oh, this is pretty. I'm going on my nose as well. Oh, this is super pretty. Because it's hot and I'm sweating, I'm going to set my face now. And you're wondering, why haven't I still finished my eyes? Because I still don't know what I want to do. Okay, let's change. I have lashes on and I put some mascara on and I am now ready. And I think that's going to be it. So I'm going to put some earrings on and a necklace. I'm going to do something to my hair, make it less meh. That's it. That's my uh, Valentine's Day makeup look. Cue montage, I guess.
this is totally out of my comfort zone so I'm not used to wearing like this like pink without black in there and like it just it's out of my comfort zone but I think I like it so thank you so much for watching if you're new please subscribe and hit that like button all my social media links are down below I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one bye